Hey guys, happy Friday everybody. Good morning, I uh, hope everybody's doing well. This is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Uh, again, we're just about 20 minutes north of downtown Denver, Colorado, just north of exit 235, uh, right off the frontage road on the, uh, on the east side of the, the interstate there. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a walk around on a 2020 Newmar London Air. And this is stock number 5N190533. So this 2020 London Air is built, it's built on the Freightliner chassis. Uh, it is on the SL model. This has a 605 horsepower. That has 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. It does have a, uh, uh, the, the, total, the, the total gross weight of this is 54,000 pounds. Um, why don't we start out right around this area here and I'll, I'll talk about the, uh, the generator here. It's a 12,500 watt Cummins own end generator. And as you can see, this is a hydraulic slide where this whole front end is out. Um, it gives you easy access to, the, uh, to your windshield wiper fluid. Uh, there's an air chuck up top here. I don't know if you can get a shot right, right there. If you need to tap into the air system to put air in the tires or use them for other vehicles, you can. And that red turn knob there is your hot water, hot water line. Great for getting all the bugs off the front of the coach after a long drive. And then you've got easy access to, to your uh, headlamps. If you need to change them out. And then on the other end, this does have the hydraulics on this side here. And if we come around on this side, kind of walk down the curbside of the coach and show you each bay and what's in them. Uh, this does come with eight AGM house batteries on a slide tray that's going to be in this first bay, well, the, this first bay behind the tire is what I'm talking about here. In this first bay up here, I, that's where your, a lot of your um, fuses and are, are going to be located in here. These are all tied into the chassis. It's also where your HWH, the hydraulic slide, to run that slide in and out on the front is located. And then they put a little handy uh, wiper for cleaning all the bugs off the windshield. As we come down this way, uh, this is, we're on the opposite side from the patio side, but these do, this coach comes with two full pass-through slide trays. They come all the way out on both sides. And the handy little switch is easy to get to, as you can see where my finger is. And these will hold up to 1,000 pounds per tray. Now I've got the slide out right now, but with that slide in, you got easy access to that slide tray. And you've got another one here, and this one's gonna be a wider tray. I won't bring that one all the way out on this side, but you can see how much storage you get underneath here. And as you can see, the LED lights in here gives you some nice lighting in the evening. Another thing to point out um, on new Mars, you'll notice, let me get in here, this tubular bar here, it's going from the outside. It's these outriggers are about every every three or four feet, and it's the star foundation, which that supports all the weight and the integrity of this coach can support all the weight for these big full wall slides with all tile. And this being an all electric coach, it does have the Oasis hydronic heat system. Uh, this is where it's located. Gives you continuous hot water. It does have two electric elements. It's a low pressure system. You don't get those fumes off the exhaust whenever it's, it's using the diesel boiler. In this next compartment here, you do have a 50 amp core that's 50 feet long. That'll reach most, pet, most pedestals. And then it has a additional plug here. If somebody wants to tap into your, to the 30 amps there, that's a 30 amp plug outlet. If you've got a trailer you want to plug into, this gives you extra power. And that big block, black box back behind there is the, uh, that is the automatic transfer switch. 
So it switches between generator power and 50 amp power. And then your cable and satellite feed hookups are gonna be, in, or that's your cable feed. This coach has a satellite on it. And your waterworks bay. You've got, uh, again, you got a power reel on the, your city water hose. You have an outside shower. This is your dump station also. It does have a macerator pump. So it will liquefy your solids on the black water tank and it will pump the, pump the wastewater out. You can also get some digital readings here for your fresh water, gray water, black water. And uh, it does have a, a sewage flush here. Here's where you turn the RV SantaCon on. Uh, everything's nicely labeled so you can, for operating. And then it is a whole house water filtration system here. Coming to the back, um, you've got, so all new Mars come with the comfort drive and with the ultra steer. So this tag axle right here will turn up to 12 degrees as needed at speeds of 20 miles an hour or less. And it will automatically center itself and dump the air on the tag when you have it in the auto tag dump position, which I'll show you when we get inside, uh, when you go to reverse. Here's a place where you can store gloves, hoses, and any kind of extra outdoor items that may be associated to the water workstation. Over here is the diesel exhaust fuel. Uh, this is 15 gallons. The actual reservoir is on the other side. But when you pull into the fuel stops, a lot of times your, your def fuel fill is on the left side, on the driver's side, so it makes it easier for filling. It is a side radiator. All London Air uh, have the independent front suspension. Side radiator makes it nice, easy access to the engine. In the back, you can easily access the, your dips, dipsticks on the transmission, engine oil, transmission oil, your fill. Now that is a 605 horsepower Cummins diesel engine. You look down low here this is it's pre-wired for brake controller this will tow up to 20,000 pounds this is a voyager it's basic the, the voyager is um it's for additional camera if you have a, if you have a camera on the back of your trailer that you're towing you can get the signal on the the monitors in the coach and the camera here there's cameras on the sides of the coach and on the front. This does have the 360 camera view. Kind of gives it a bird's eye view of the coach, which I'll show you when we go inside. Um, all, all of the Newmar product um, from on the 2020s and based R up have the exit door. Uh, it's optional on some of the gas models, but it is it's standard on the London Air. Uh, so this is how that this this works. So this whole Ladder slides up, like so. It's gonna see hot. If you had to get out in, the, in an emergency, this just falls right out, straight to the ground. It makes it easier for getting out instead of having to jump out of those windows. And then down here, we've got the chassis batteries. That's a disconnect for turning the chassis batteries off. And this plug over here is going to be for diagnostics. Um, technicians need to tap into the to coach to find any, any errors. That's where they would tap into. Here's the 15 gallon diesel exhaust fuel tank I was talking about on the other side. If you back out this way, Jarris, you can see that I've got the awnings out. These do have the Gerard Nova awnings. So it gives you some nice shade. Looks like this one came in a little bit. But there's also LED lights running in, the, in both awnings. You also have LED lights underneath your slide outs. It's bright out, so it's hard to, it's hard to see that, but um, it does have them under both slides. It gives you some nice lighting outside. In this bay, <clears throat> it does have a 105 gallon fresh water tank behind this pegboard. Uh, this is that's where your water is so it's a great place for you know right in front of the drive axle 
for 105 gallons of water. And then you've got this is this makes some nice storage instead of just the side of a tank. In the next bay here, this is a manual, like a three-quarter tray. So it back it backs up to the oasis back there, so that's what that wall is when we were on the other side. And some of these other components you're seeing in here. Um, these are for your wind sensors. Those awnings do have wind sensors, so they will pull themselves in in high winds. Um, some of your silver leaf controls, um, the high definition camera systems, all those uh, components are down below here. There's a bedroom slide out control panel there, central vacuum. Um, this is where you can clean the filter out. And then we get to the, um, the two pass through storage trays. I ran that other one out on the other side. And then they knew for 2020, they added this shelf up top. So it gives you a little extra storage. This thing has a ton of basement storage. You got a 43 inch LED Samsung 4K or Samsung 4K smart TV with the Bose soundbar. It does have the optical, optical cord uh, hooked up to it. So it has some great sound outside. And um, that's a Bluetooth speaker as well. And then you've got the pull-out fridge-freezer combo. So depending on what you want to use it for, your, your settings for your temperature controls are on this side. If you want it for an ice box, just set it to the freezing temperature and then either freezer or refrigerator. What's nice is it clears the wall, even with the slide out. Great for tailgating. And another feature that I didn't mention, little wires here. So all these doors are on a keyless lock. You can lock and unlock it with a key fob. You can lock and unlock it from the entrance door handle here. And you can do it from inside. There's a little push button inside the door there. You've got a 150 gallon diesel tank. You can fill it from both sides. And if you get a shot up underneath here, I don't know if you can see under there, but they put a steel plate there. It protects the hose going to the tank, which is uh, some, some builders out there don't have, which could be a hazard. And why don't we go inside? I'll show you some of the inside here. So in case you're wondering, the length on this coach is 44 feet, 10 inches. The height is 13 feet, four inches at ride height. We mentioned the fresh, gal fresh water is 105 gallons. Gray water is 80 gallons. Black water is 60 gallons. And then the fuel was 150 and 15 gallons on the diesel exhaust fuel. Um, with London Air, there's some new features for 2020 that this one comes with. And it's, uh, so it comes with OptiView, which has got a digital dash right here. I'm gonna start this up. So on some of the older models, you had the transmission over here. It kind of cleans all this up now. Uh, this, now you've got your valid, it's got your air automatic air leveling system. So when you're traveling, this is automatically adjusting as you're driving it. Um, it's also got air leveling and hydraulic leveling. Over here is your parking brake, your lights, your fog lights. The dome light is above my head here. That's it turns my, like my map light on and off. And then it does have um, a little charge station. I wanna charge my phone going down the road. Let's get that light to light green. And we got it charging. Uh, I've got a power window. I'm going through a toll booth. It makes it makes it handy. Um, and this does have a universal toll uh, option on it. 
which is nice when you're going through different states um, if you activate that. Uh, it does have an, an on and an off for your, for your air horn. Should I do it? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you flinching up there? <laughs> um, and then over here you've got the house batteries and the chassis battery booster. So if, you're, if your chassis batteries, if you lose power, you're dry camping, and you can't crank the engine off of the chassis batteries, you can hold down the house switch and crank the engine off the house batteries. Kind of a nice safety feature. And we talked about the, um, I was talking about the, the tag dump earlier. So I was usually keep it in the forward position because when you go to reverse, it's gonna automatically dump the tag and it's gonna center those wheels so it moves all the pressure on the drive wheels. So less tire scrub and um, you know, just it saves the wear and tear on that the tires on the tag. Um, in the OptiView I was talking about, so you can see how easy this is to, to read. You can dim that, you can, um, you can make it less bright, uh, and here's all, the, the, your, your controls for the OptiView are right here on the steering wheel. You can bring up your menu right here and toggle through some of the different features. And then, um, Go back here, your, your comfort drive, which all new Mars have. It used to be a little knob. In, in the 2020 models, they've integrated the, the comfort drive. Is gonna be in your, I believe it's vehicle configuration and steering effort. So I can now, you can see I can raise and lower the tension on the steering wheel. So that's great if you're getting really strong winds, it's 30, 40 mile an hour wind gusts, you're going through Kansas, you're going through Wyoming, Nebraska, some real windy states, um, turn that up. And if you're not sitting there fighting a strong side wind, it, 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 every 20 seconds it's, it's uh, seeing your, your driving habits. So it, it counters for you. And so it cuts back on fatigue on long road trips, which is a really nice feature. Um, keys, it does have a proximity remote control. This is what locks and unlocks all your compartment doors. Uh, push button start, kind of like some of the automobiles that have today. And then you've got these 10 inch monitors, which are awesome. I mean, for, for visibility, if I turn my camera on here, uh, these are all my different features I can, I can change this to. Uh, right now it's just on the backup camera, but if I want to go to my, my 360 camera view, there's my 360 camera view. I can see all the way around the coach. Comes in real handy if you're on the highway and you've got, you're on a three or four lane highway. You can see all the vehicles just left and right of you at, at a glance. Of course, you want to still use your mirrors, but um, very handy. And then um, let's go back to the menu. So your radio controls are here. It does have Sirius XM radio, Bluetooth. You can pair your phones to this. And um, on, on the steering wheel, I can answer and hang up the phone with these two buttons here. I can mute, if I, want to, if I want to just mute the stereo. I mean, everything's right at your fingertips, so it's uh, it, very convenient. And then your um, cruise control, on and off, set and resume. I mean, everybody has that, and it's right there on the steering wheel, easy to use. Going back to the, the camera here, you can, um, uh, you can choose your maps to be on when you're driving it. You can set the dimensions of this coach. It's a Rand McNally system, so it won't take you on roads you're not supposed to be driving on. You can find different um, restaurants and campgrounds, uh, fuel stations. It has all, the, uh, all those programmed into the Rand McNally. Um, if you pan over there to that monitor, this does have the passenger monitor, which is the auxiliary zone. So right now it's on the Ram McNally, but if I want to switch that to say, I think they can do the camera. Let's see, let's go back here. Um, camera, there we go. So I can use, the, you can choose the camera mode. I think you can even go into, trying to find the radio. There's one on here where they can control the radio too. So I think that's in the source on that one. If they want to turn the volumes up and down, um, 
that's also available. Uh, on, the, on the dashboard in this area here, you've got your visor controls. So if I want to run my shade down on the right, you can see it coming down. Now the engine's running, so as a safety feature, it's going to stop right there. That's as low as I can get it. In the front shade, that's your night shade. Same deal, it's going to come down and it's just going to stop because I've got the engine running. And then it does have the, the regular visor shade. Uh, these are your chassis air conditioner components. Um, entrance lock and unlock. Uh, generator start stop. Courtesy lights. That turns on the lights in the evening. If, if dark in the back of the coach, it just lights up the floor lights. Uh, these are your docking lights. Again, if you're, if you're uh, setting up camp at, at, in the evening, this is really nice. It lights up the sides of your coach. And then you have your overhead fans are going to be up top. This is a large windshield, so that's nice for getting, especially when you turn your defrost in, you're in some humid climates, and you need to get the defog the windshield. And then the uh, front fan high and low, that's going to be off of the hydronic system, so that gives you some heat up here and off the dash area from the hydronic, Oasis hydronic heat. So that, a lot of that covers uh, the driving portion of it. These chairs do swivel. Let's see if I can get this one around here. So the driver one's always the one that got to kind of work a little bit because you got the steering wheel to deal with. And that one actually went pretty well. Move that back a little. And as you can see, it does have a footrest. And then this one does the same thing, and it does have a little tabletop. Comes across the lap, excuse me. And this is adjustable too, so you can loosen it, put it at different, different angles. And then uh, if you notice, the passenger has their own pad, charge station for their phone. If you don't have the wireless type of phones, there are outlets on the side here. You've got electrical outlets here, and I think there's even USB ports yeah. along with the, the electrical there. Okay, um, let's move around to the... Yes, uh, the TV is 43 inch, overhead TV. That comes standard on the London Airs. And then this, this compartment here, You've got, that's your Gerard awning controls. So if I select the different zones, you've got zone one and two. If you have it in zone zero, it, both of them go out at the same time. You can turn your lights on and off, stop it at different um, areas when it's going out. This is your over the air uh, TV antenna. And this, they did make the screen bigger. The buttons are bigger. They're easier to read in the silver leaf. Right. Yeah. If you want a if you want a, a tutorial on the Silverleaf system, Bill Habercorn did a great demonstration on this system, and uh, so check it out. It'll be a, a great tool to watch. It's on YouTube and it's on on our Facebook page. Your um, <clears throat> your step control is here. If you want to turn the step on and off so it doesn't go in and out all the time. Uh, by the way, I didn't mention that that is a hydraulic. Uh, it's a hydraulic step. Um, maybe I'll demonstrate it after we go through the coach. Yeah. Okay. And this does have the Traveler, Direct TV, satellite. That's your, that's your on-off box for it. <clears throat> and that slide controls too right there. Your slide outs are here. Uh, it does have a, it's got a Wi-Fi router. So that's the Wi-Fi Ranger. And um, if you you want to buy data through AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, you can, you can actually, it's like you have at the house. You've got Wi-Fi at home, it should be Wi-Fi in the coach. If you don't buy the data, then it does, it's a booster to help boost your signal at different campgrounds that have Wi-Fi available. Uh, new this year also are these little touch, touch pads. So the multiplex lighting, you touch on them and it wakes them up. And you can turn all the lights on and off. You can dim the lights. 
So all the different lights are, like right now it's on ceiling lights. But I just want to bring those down a little bit. So that's kind of a neat feature there. And that's, you can do that on all the lights throughout the coach. If you hit the home button, you can see you get your lighting, your shades, your fan controls. Uh, systems is going to be for the water pump and your TV. Your TV goes up and down. So if I hit this, well, it won't go down right now because we got something on. We got something off here. But that's okay. Yeah, that does go down. Um, let's see. We've got all the shades or the auto motion roller shades. You got huge windows. I'm going to raise these up because you can see how nice the the uh, view is. Let's see these go here. Bring those up. So you got almost like the, the Prevo buses have those beautiful, huge windows. You, you almost get that in these. You do have the overhead cabinets in this model, which gives you great storage. And this has the um, optional theater seating and another optional extended dinette. So I only I just put this side out. I'll show you how this works. It is electric. So it's, it's out, you see how much, how, how, how much room there is here at this booth dinette. And two leaves, so lots of counter space. And if I hold this down here, it drops the seat in. So when you're going to hit the road, you'll run this in before you run the slide in. And of course you store your leaves in the back. That in. We'll come over on this side. Lots of workspace. So I've showed this in a few other Numars, but it is a removable induction cooktop. You want to take it outside. You're cooking fish. Go outside. Keep the odors outside. Um, but and it's great for cleanup. I'm going to clean all this up. Remove it. Clean it. Pop it back in place and plug it in. Then you've got your little covers. Have cutting boards on both sides. And everything's level, so everything's you don't have any anything in the way. So if you got your pots and pans out here, everything's level. Your sink covers, it's got a double sink. And uh, this has been popular, the, um, the the kitchen window. And by the way, this comes out too, so it's and it does have like the little sprayer option, or the it's a nice sink. And these sink covers, if you look down below here. So if I want to store them, if you look all the way in the back, they, they do store back in the back. It's got a little holder. And you can see this comes out. you got a trash can, dedicated trash area. There's all the owner's manuals, another slide out. Notice the soft clothes on all the drawers and on the cabinets. More storage up top. Convection microwave oven. Here's some more storage. Full extension drawer glides on all your drawers. This does have the optional dishwasher. And then this slides out. I've got it out right now. So if I put it in, it's got a little switch here you just to release it. Pull this out. And then you got, and again, full extension drawer glides on these three drawers. And then overhead here is some more storage, audio, video. It's got your Blu-ray player. It's got the Bose sound bar. It's a 50-inch Samsung 4K smart TV. They went to all smart, K, uh, smart TVs. No, smart K TVs. <laughs> um, and... The elect one thing I've noticed they've been doing great on the past couple of years, all your electrical outlets seem to have USB ports and everybody has their USBs and, and to charge your phones, to charge your computers, to charge your laptops. If you notice in the, in the theater seating here, these have little USB ports right in the middle. And then that's also to, um, to, to recline. I, I've got, I think I've got the inverter off. Let me turn that on.
Let's see. Disable. Sorry for the delay there. I was just trying to get some power back. But. So come back here. We've got the Whirlpool residential refrigerator. You got the ice box down below. With an ice maker back here. It does have the ice maker here. And the water dispenser is on the door. Nice pantry. Just come all the way out. Great for storage. If you notice the tile, it's also in the slide. I kind of talked about it with that star foundation, so there's no carpet. And this is heated tile floor. So it has a uh, Numar runs electrical heat strips under the floor. And if you ever have a, if there's ever a problem with a zone, you can literally remove these tiles, find the, you know, fix the connection for the heat for that zone, re replace the tile, regrout it, and it's an easy fix. Half bath, you've got your central vacuum is located in here. Something else I was going to show. Let me step in there. So when these, when all your slides are in on, on certain other brands, just want to point something out. This is a cool feature that Newmar does. So a lot of times your fuse box, your house fuses, and your house breakers are under a bed. And if the slide out is in, it's a pain in the butt to get, excuse me, the you know what, to get to the actual, the breakers and the fuses. I can walk right down the middle of the coach and get right to all my breakers, my fuses, all for the house. Everything's nicely labeled. That's a pretty nice feature that Newmore does on just about every, every brand they make. And you got the inverted door again, so when this slide is in, it makes this accessible when you're on when you're traveling. King size bed, sleep number. You've got electrical and USB ports on both sides of the bed. If you're laying in bed, you've got the little one of the little touch panels. And I can wake it up so I can control some of my lighting. Shades, if I want to run the shades up and down. And also Something else to point out, if you look up underneath here, Cherish, there is a, uh, that little plastic panel that you can run electrical cords out there. For those that have CPAP machines, it's awesome because you can keep them up, stored up top here, plug it in here, and run the lines, run all your hoses out the bottom there. And then under the bed, we've got some storage. It's huge storage. Air conditioning is three 15,000 BTU air conditioners, uh, all three with heat pumps, and they are hidden. Nice, they have these nice decorative panels for the London Airs, and they do drop down. Your filters are tucked up underneath there, but these panels do come down so you can access them. And then the bedroom, you've got the 43-inch Samsung Smart TV, another silver leaf panel. Blu-ray player. Come around on this side, you got your um, slide control. And then another one of these panels here to, for all your operations, your ceiling lights, dresser lights, all the different lighting. And then these are the different systems that shades, fans, and systems like I showed you on the front panel there. I'll come to the back. This is the full bath. Which way? I'm going to go this way. Okay. Double vanity. Open these up. So washer and dryer is going to be in here. It does have a safe in the back. And a full tile shower. And this does have the cathedral style ceilings for, for taller. I mean, I'm 6'2". I got plenty of room above here. So for taller guys, they're 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, I mean, they still have plenty of room, plenty of room in the shower. So it's got... Nice 
and the AquaView. Um, if, you, if you do a lot of dry camping, again, that's, that, that's the system that's, that saves your fresh water so you're not just constantly running your, your water as you're trying to heat it. Um, so you, that, that will light up and when it's hot, you can turn that, turn that valve at the bottom up and that allows you to have hot water without wasting your fresh water. So, let's see. One other thing I was going to talk about. These theater seatings are so comfortable. If you notice, um, we've got little lit cup holders here. You know, President Trump was going to attend, and so was Vice President Biden, but they couldn't show up. <laughs> Unfortunately, President Trump had a golf outing today, and Vice President Biden, Pelosi wouldn't let him out of his basement. So anyways, that's the joke of the day. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. Have a great day, stay safe, come visit us. And I don't know what I do with my little notebook, but you can reach me at, uh, here's my information. My phone number is 720-539-4711. Or you can email me at grussell at transwest.com. Have a great day, stay safe and talk to you next time. Thanks.